Mga best friend, what's up? What's up mga best pups? Wag na yan, wag na yan. <laughs> Hindi natin kailangan yan. What's up everybody? This is DJ DLS. We're testing a different POV for this ride. Hopefully it's uh, much more immersive. Also, I checked the tire pressure. Kulang pala eh, kaya medyo hindi masyado maganda yung grip. Masyado malambot. Sa harap pala nito is recommended to have 1.6 bar. Sa rear naman is 2.0 bar. That's equivalent to 23 point something sa harap PSI. 29.2 sa likod. So niround off ko na lang. Ginawa ko na lang 23 sa harap, 29 sa likod. Okay naman, mas uh, maganda na siya. Marami akong nabasa, naka-join ako sa mga iba't ibang Vespa groups. Uh, yung mga recommended na tire replacement, the Pirelli Diablo and the Pirelli Angel tires. Pero parang ito, okay naman. Hindi ko pa nga na-check kung ano ba talaga yung tatak nito. <laughs> Pero uh, it feels okay, I think. Tapos uh, nagsimula ako na rin basahin yung user guide. Lahat ng motor ko binasa ko yung mga user guides mula sa 400NK to the Kimco like 150i to this. Maigsi lang naman. Although hindi ko pa tapos yung sa Vespa. Tapos yung first video ko pala nito meron akong nasabi na mga sabi ko bakal parts pero hindi pala. Kukorek natin ngayon This is my uh, Vespa S150 I got it for 145k that, That's the SRP for this bike From uh, Moto Technic Ayan no? Moto Technic Pros and cons in owning it for 4 days This is very weak man Ayan no? It creaks Very flimsy I think madali to tanggalin eh I thought all of it will be metal, but for the price, ayun talagang, ano, you get what you pay for. Kasi nga, you're paying for the entry level. Kaya ayan, ito plastic din to. Metal, plastic. All of this, all of this is plastic. Kala ko metal nung una eh. Pati to plastic, plastic. Ayan o. Plastic siya. But starting here, it's metal. The side panels are metal. Siyempre, uh, 125, so a lot of people, they upgrade the, the CVT system. Uh, a bit lacking in torque, but that can be fixed. And uh, I can probably live with that. Very simple, very basic, but that's not a con. That's what it is really. Parang yun lang yung cons na nakikita ko. Ah, isa pang con. Kala ko kasi, sabi ko, wow, ang dali ng hangina ng, ano, ng, ng gulong kasi exposed. Dehinanginan ko yung harap. Pucha yung pala yung likod, ang hirap. Ang hirap ma-access. So, ayun, I kind of had a hard time uh, putting air in the rear tire. But, uh, that's a minor thing. Ayun, hindi pala kasi yung Bell Custom 500 natin sa loob nito. Pero meron naman siyang, ano, helmet security thing, I think. Dito. Ito, helmet hook. Pwede mo ilagay dyan yung hook ng helmet mo. Yan. Tapos, masisecure mo na siya when you close it. Now, what do we have in here? Oh, I have the, my gloves. I have my, uh, my rain gear, jacket, and pants, and shoes. Plus, an extra backpack, just in case. And the papers. That's it. And the tools. I fastened them here. Vespa, di ba? You paid for the brand. Kaya siya re really identifiable as a Vespa. It's because of this curved shape here. Yan talaga yung nagpapapogi sa mga Vespa. Sa, for me, ah. Very sexy, I think. Is this slope right here. That's what makes it so sexy for me. Plus the side fairings. They really look gorgeous. Some people, they remove the, the front mudguard or front fairing to make it look more aggressive. Uh, but and to expose the front shocks but for now I think I'm good with that 
Uh, also, you're paying for the, 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 the single swing arm thing. May mga ibang Vespa owners pala na may colored Vespa sila pero bina-black out nila or kinochrome delete nila. So I think I'm pretty lucky with this, with the color I got. Kasi there's nothing to black out anymore because it's all blacked out. Siguro pag tinoyo lang ako, medyo baka gayahin natin si si Bike Scoot Repeat. Shout out sa iyo Bike Scoot Repeat. Pina black out din niya yung mga ilaw niya. Pero other than that, wala, it looks so nice. It looks so badass with the with its almost all black color. And I like this pin striping. I think uh, it adds a really good looking accent to the all black theme. Ito nga may sticker so pero hindi kita. If uh, we could find the version of this na na white, baka pwede din. Ah, bumili pala ako ng ano, ng parang ano, leather leather cover for this kasi ayoko yung blue hindi bagay sa hindi bagay sa color theme natin. Ah, may nagtatanong pala. Ano daw pala to? Lazada clamp lang yan. Binigay ko na yung link sa description ng uh, first video ko or second video yata. Kasi nga hindi pwede dito so I found this to be the solution. Baka ito may parang carbon fiber ako nakita na ano eh, pamalit dito eh. Baka pa carbon natin yan. Napakaganda. Ano masasabi ko dyan? It's a, it's a good upgrade for me. Those are my initial pros and cons or yeah, that's a very short list I know. And uh, I'm looking forward to riding this to Marilake when the pandemic finally subsides, hopefully soon, sooner than later. Very photogenic, isa sa mga pros nito pala. It looks so good on camera. Also this one, the side mirrors. I'm not planning to to change this. Ganda nung ano niya, yung viewing angle niya. Just a short list of uh, some pros and some cons. I forgot to mention that I love the seat. I love the posture when I sit. We'll find out more, I guess, when we do a longer ride on this. Probably when we take it up to the mountains in Tanay, in Antipolo. Uh, hopefully next vlog, you will see a review of the, the Rusi Classic 250i. I'm hoping uh, we could do that this weekend. Kahit sa UP lang. Alright, that's it for me guys. Thank you very much. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is DJ DLS. Peace.